Okay, good morning, students. Uh, we will continue the sample paper, question number 46. Here, uh, there is a one text file. Contents are given here. And the coding is, we open the file, then line count variable is of uh, equal to zero. We open uh, the file and read line function is used. In movie means all the lines will be saved as a as an element of a list that data. Then we use for line in data. It means first line will be in line variable. And line zero means first character is of key type. Okay, and then there is an increment in line count. So here is two lines which start with a capital T. So answer will be two. Next is uh, there is a one question regarding your directory structure. So uh, I'm giving one example. Suppose uh, in C drive, there is a one folder that is pictures and in a picture, then there is a pix 2021 and there is my, my picture is here, my pic dot jpg. Beta here, C drive is root L drive, root directory. So, this absolute path hoga, that will be Suppose you are in this drive. I this folder me a folder me. In that case, the absolute relative address will be this one. Absolute will be this one, and relative will be this one. Okay. The question is: uh, there is a one file dot jpg. So slaver.jpg, this is in the academic folder. Academic is a folder of a school. So relative, uh, the absolute address will be school, academic, slavers. So here, school slavers, not possible. School, academic slavers, it is a correct one. School, academic, there are dots, but there is a no any subfolder uh, inside academic. So that's why this is wrong. Then school examination slavers, this is wrong. So uh, here, second option, B option is correct one. Next is, whenever we are using a real line method, uh, it will create the list. So answer is B1. So here list will be created. Next question. I am implementing this in Python.
So my first apple is here. Beta here, I am going to change the value of uh, element. This is not possible. So it will show the error message. One minute, zero, one, two. Beta in here, uh, tuple one, two, two is a list. So that's why we can change the value. That is, that's why there is no any error here. Next is when then we print tuple one. So here value is change is possible because inside the tuple we are taking nested list and list is a mutable in nature and we can change the value. Is me it clear? Panji, sir. So next is a case study question. It is from CSV file. So Rohit is a student of class plus two, is learning CSV file module in Python. During exam, he has been assigned an incomplete Python code to create CSV file student.csv. Help in completing the code. So CSV file, ye amne data write karwana hai. For using CSV functions, we need CSV module. So which module? In statement one, CSV. Question number two. Identify the missing code for blank mark as statement two. Beta in mark two, we are going to give the name of the file with because we are going to <coughs> write the data in the file. So we will open the file in writing mode. So will be student.csv w mode because wb is for binary file and w mode is for csv file next is choose the function name that should be used in blank space to mark as statement three. Because we are adding the data, then go loop, we are getting the input. And then here we are going to create the list. So statement number four is a, uh, here in uh, statement number three, here we will use a reader for reading and writer for writing. So here we are going to write the data. That's why it is writer, but object is F Y uh, F H. So here is a C option is here. 52 C. Next is identify the suitable code for blank space in line marked as statement four. The so statement four be better here should be row, different variables, row number, comma, name, comma, class, comma, section. Row number, name, class, and a section. This is P3D. Uh, here. Uh, sorry, ah, 53D. Next is choose the function name that should be used in blank space 
of line marked as statement six. So in this statement six, we will use append which one R E C. Okay. So here it should be R E C listening fifty four C. Question number fifty five. Choose the function name that should be used in blank space of line marked as statement six to create desired CSV file. Okay, better for writing the data in the file. There is a write rows function is here. So here is fifty five. C. So this is all about your sample paper. If you have any doubt, please raise your hands. <coughs> Are we clear? Have any doubt you have? Yes, sir. Any doubt in sample papers? But now we are going to discuss the plus uh, one six. That is list. How we can declare a list? In square bracket. Slicing is same as uh, your in the case of string. Starting from one up to two. So here is a zero. One, two, three. Starting from one and two, you can also reverse the list. We can use two arithmetical operator. It is replicate so we can add two lists So next is <coughs> different functions and method of list length function. So it will tell us how many elements in the list. Next is
append function to insert one element in the list. Okay, and in case we add multiple element, then it will be nesting, nested list. So this is nesting. Then extend function will add more than one element in the list. So here is extend function. Now next is here is insert function. First, you will have to give the Location where you want to add the element, I am giving second index, value is 89. So here is 0, 1, 2. In second place, 89 is inserted. If I use pop, one element from the last will be deleted. We can also use L dot for and the location here index is two. So 89 will be deleted. Then there is remove function Remove delete the element value wise. So 66 will be removed. Prayer will, will delay all the element from the list. Working. Strange. Maybe due to the version of first, uh, uh, different version of Python. So clear function we delete all the elements from the list. Then L dot count 33. So it will give us one number of times that value repeated in the list. Then L dot sort. So here, sorting in ascending order. Here it is a nested list, that's why it's displayed in second last. And here is a string. And in string, a sky code is compared. Sorted function. So I am taking here one variable r is equal to l dot sorted
So after sorting, contents will be saved in new list that is R. Now next is we can apply function. These are the methods. Length is a function. Again, minimum is a function. Minimum value from the list. Maximum value from the list according to the sky code. Some function because error is here because we have string as an element. So that's why some function is not applicable here. So if I'm using L dot reverse, it will reverse the list in reverse order. So these are the different functions of a list. In this, we just discuss the functions. Length, max, min, sum, then methods. We use here. Insert append extend pop clear. Remove. Sort, sorted, reverse, so these are the different functions, different methods of the list. <coughs> Remember, in case we want to, uh, we use your sort function in list. But if I want to apply the sorting in reverse order, in descending order, So here, reverse equal to true. Same is applicable in the case of your sort and sorted methods. Yes, plus one student, uh, plus two students, any doubt here, Rita? No, sir. I hear uh, L is a two dimensional list. If we want to find out the memory address of four, this one, we will use L1. And if I want to display here second element, so location is zero and one. So by using this, we can use the uh, nested list members.
So different features of the list are It is a sequence okay it is a in sequence second one is it is mutable in nature okay we can change the value any time any time so there are two type of indexing positive and a negative so two type of sorting is there uh, the two type of indexing is there so this is all about the list so if you have any doubt you can put the questions, you can put the queries. So I think no query from your side. So I'm now going to close the meeting. Thanks for attending the meeting. Take care. Bye.